Hello, Ivan, how are you? Hello, can you hear me? Oh, yep. Hi. Ah, you're here. Aha, finally, you made it to my class. Yeah, finally. So, Finally, finally. So again, I'm using the new microphone here today, just trying to test it out. Today's topic, it. today's topic, is about the world map and things we can find interesting on the world map. So first question is, how often do you? Well, how often do you use Google Maps? Could you? Is it something you can live without it? Are you using it constantly? How are you? I'm fine. Hello, can you hear me? I, I, I hear myself a little bit. Can, can you hear me? Yes, yes, I hear it. So for someone to to answer, uh, how, how often do you use Google Maps? Someone tell me. Maybe once a week. Who said that? I. Ah, uh, Miguel. Uh, OK. Once a week. And what are you usually searching for? Are you searching something for for local, or are you trying to find directions for something? What are you looking for? Uh, I try to make a tr transfer to um, uh, how to uh, how to how to get from one point to another point. Yes, yeah, yes. How to get from one point, uh, point to, 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 to to second. <laughs> so, what would you do with those Google Maps? Explain. Someone explain. What was the last time they used a big map, a big, uh, not not public map, but uh, like a paper map? Does everyone still have a paper map with them? Mm, maybe. Oksana, I, you have yeah. a paper map. Oh, okay. I didn't understand the question about paper map. <laughs> do you know what a paper map is? Yes, of yeah, course, I know. One. Sorry? Yes, we have one uh, map like this. But do you, do you still need a paper map, or do you think, you know, Google um, Maps these days should be sufficient? Yes, uh, as for me, uh, sometimes it's uh, very useful. Uh, unfortunately, when uh, your phone is uh, shut down and you have none uh, communication, and uh, in this case, paper map uh, can help you. Do you so? Yes. Where do you where do you keep yours then? Hmm? Where do you keep yours? Uh, in car. In the car. Yeah. Well, that's good. So you don't lose it there. And what do you what do you, what kind of maps do you take? Do you take take a map of uh, Kiev, a map of Ukraine? What do you take with you? Uh, I have two maps. Uh, one. Of uh, one with Kiev and uh, one uh, with whole Ukraine, a transit map. But it's hard to look at a map and pinpoint exactly where you are, and then you have to orientate yourself where you are. I think sometimes that can be really, really difficult, and that's why a lot of people uh, hate using maps these days. They hate it. I mean... Uh, the thing is, uh, we used to be on some... Uh, uh, let's say uh, trainings uh, about coordination and uh, uh, finding your, yourself on maps and uh, uh, mm, something like this, uh, this, uh, this sort of things. And uh, we just know how to use map, uh, how to find ourselves. How to find ourselves? GPS, no? Yeah. Oh, sometimes it's, it's more horrible than uh, ordinary maps, as for me. Hey, for GPS, it takes just three coordinates for them to, to find where exactly you are. I don't like that. No, but the thing is, uh, GPS in Ukraine is some, something that's more horrible than uh, uh, an ordinary car. Uh, my friend is GPS, and uh, he arrived to a cemetery. <laughs> the, the GPS says that it's your destination point. Yeah. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> so you turn off this uh, GPS and <laughs> now use it. <laughs> oh God. Who who else has that where they 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 looked on something on uh, Google Maps and it, it took them to the wrong direction? Who else had this problem? 
Hello, anyone? Who's new? No. Or Svetozar. Uh, yes, that's me. Hi, hi everybody. Just uh, have joined your company. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit late. Uh, well, I uh, I have never used uh, this kind of stuff, so I cannot say anything about this. You don't use Google Maps? Ah, Google Maps. Sorry, I was I I, uh, I thought you were talking about GPS uh, system. Uh, Google Maps. Yes, I did. I did use, of course. Uh, but what, the, what is the question? I didn't get the question. Well, do you ever get lost? Like, I mean, not lost, but you put in one destination and it gives you something else. It says, come here, and you arrive at some sort of babushka's place instead. You know, like, uh, you, you come to the wrong location. It happens to me a lot in Ukraine. What well, about I, for you? Well, actually, I, for me, I used this uh, Google, Google Maps before going somewhere just to find this the, the street I was looking for. And uh, I usually I use it uh, from my laptop at home so I don't use uh, any any I, I don't I don't use uh, the internet on my cell phone well, where so. are you from though sorry where are you from uh, from from Ukraine what city Kiev or well yep I uh, now I'm in Kiev but I was born not in Kiev so that's not my native town anyway I, I, I get lost some sometimes but uh, usually I ask people to help me to find their destination uh huh. Okay. Okay. Because Kiev's a big city. I get lost in this city. It's too big for me. It's too big. You, you need you need a GPS 24 hours on you. And get, you know, unless you're using the metro all the time. Who else? Who else lives in Kiev? Who else? Anyone? Anton. Ah, yeah, you, Anton. <laughs> who no, else is there? I live. I live in Hakasia in Siberia. <laughs> uh, wait, wait. What, what, what is the problem in Russian with GPS? You know about this. <laughs> the same problem. <laughs> what, 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 what's the problem? You get lo uh, It's not accurate, or it sent you to site to the somewhere else, or navigator can find the uh, right path. Uh, I think that there are no roads. That's why you don't need GPS. <laughs> You're on the road. But I think in Russia you would need a, some sort of GPS or navigation with you. Russia's a big country. I hate to get Glenass, lost in Russia. Glenass, uh, GPS uh, just uh, to pull up. Uh, could you repeat? Um, we, rarely, we rarely use GPS. Uh, okay. I understand you. Anyone else get lost using Google Maps, or it's just just a couple of us? Anyone else? Did they get the wrong destination? No? Nobody else. No? What are some things you don't like about using Google Maps? Maybe someone wants to tell us what they don't like about it. I heard they have a new version out. Does everyone is everyone using the new version? And yeah, what is about the new version? I have no idea. It just looks to me it looks different. And some things are different, but I can't tell what the difference is. It's, it's like a little bit slower. What are some things we don't like about Google Maps? Oksana, are you there? Uh, yes, I'm there. I'm here. <laughs> what, what don't you like about Google Maps? I like uh, to use Google Maps. What about uh, Yandex? Oh, I, I like Yandex. I use uh, usually Yandex uh, more than uh, Google. <laughs> What's the difference between Yandex and Google Maps? Uh, I can't I can't see uh, very big differences uh, because uh, uh, I use uh, I use a little time uh, the maps uh, because I haven't uh, a car uh, therefore uh, I don't need uh, a lot uh, using car using maps. No. Maybe therefore I can I can't find uh, a lot of difference. But but does it does it show uh, photos from your area using the Google car? You know how you can take that little person and you can put it anywhere on the map and it shows uh, the route. You know it shows the pictures. Like panoramic photo. Yes. Yeah, panoramic photo. Does it show it in your area, or Google? Uh, Google hasn't been in your neighborhood yet. Yes, I saw <laughs> in Google. Uh, I, I, I see, uh, I saw Yandex makes a panoramic photo too, uh, oh. maybe uh, one year ago. 
Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And now, which is which looks better? Because I never used Yandex. Is the the Google one look better, or is the Yandex? I I think in the Russian uh, cities, uh, Yandex makes it better. Yandex yeah, makes it better. Okay. Because Google uh, don't don't uh, uh, go into the uh, small cities or uh, no or, or um, to, to Yandex have a, a big uh, like a big uh, maybe. Uh, colleges, well, who knows? Uh, number of more 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 in Russian, I mean, do you ever find some in English, or is it all in Russian? In Yandex, we can see in English streets. All of them in English? Mm, I saw, two days ago, I saw some streets uh, in English, in Yandex. Because sometimes I, I have a hard time finding some streets, like in Ukraine, in English. You have to read it in, in Ukrainian. You know, I don't know why, but maybe it's a translation issue or something. But yeah, it, 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 I don't know if it's developed, but I'm pretty sure maybe they develop it first in, in their own native language. And then on, like, because I use, like, uh, Google Canada, it translates it into English. Or you can switch your language and it switches it over. So that's the one problem that I've been having, is that some, it's, sometimes it's very hard to read the Cyrillic names. Uh, but that's why I wanted to go with, with Google Maps. I mean, it looks like everyone uses it these days. And uh, But when, when did we start using Google Maps? When was the first time we started using it? Do we remember? Oksana, when did you start using Yandex or Google Maps? When, uh, when did I uh, start it? When did you start? Oh. What is the question? When did you start using Google Maps or well, Yandex? When? For well, the first time, right? I mean, like, uh, what year? Oh, what year? Oh, <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Uh, next year ago? Last year ago. Last year. Uh, last year. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, uh, of course, last year. All right, so let's, I'm going to the map since we're talking about the, the world, world map here. Uh, I'm looking at, now I want to know what place do they find interesting on the world map? What do you find interesting? Is there anything in particular? I'll let you guys talk first. What do you find interesting on the world map? What country or maybe location or where it's located? Does anyone want to go first? Because I have a couple things to say, but I'll let people talk. What do you find interesting? In, in general, in the world. In general, yes, on the map. I'm on maps.google.com. What do you find that's interesting? I'm sorry, is the question about the map or just places to visit? No, like uh, based on geographic location, where things are located or, you know, maybe a little bit about uh, about the actual country itself. For instance, I could say, you know, like uh, about Alaska, and you know, why isn't why is Alaska not a part of Russia anymore? Why was it bought up by America? You know, I don't know. Does anyone know why? What happened between Alaska and and uh, Russia? Who knows this story? I know. Oksana, uh, tell tell us what happened there. Uh, our Alaska was. Uh, that, uh, sold, <laughs> yes, it was sold uh, uh, for for big money, Americans to Americans, and it just was uh, a deal. No, I don't know. Maybe it was a little politic, uh, but I think it was just uh, a deal Mon for money. For money, yeah, sure. Look, look how close though Alaska is to to Russia. They were thinking of building a bridge between Alaska and Russia. What do you think about this? 
underground, under the sea? Do you think it's possible? I don't know. A lot of people, uh, many people now uh, tells uh, now tell that uh, maybe we can return uh, Alaska to Russia, uh, but uh, but our president uh, at once said that uh, it's not possible because. Uh, why? I mean, to, to get to Canada, then oh, that would be great because to get to Canada from the west, you wouldn't have to take a plane. You could just go by, well, not a marshutka, but you could take like some sort of bu bus underneath and go straight there. So that would be interesting. I think that would be very interesting to do. And they were t they, they, this, there was actual talks about doing this. I think Russia needs uh, more uh, cream, uh, cream <laughs> in Ukraine. Cream, cream. Crimea, 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 uh, no, but um, more than uh, Alaska. Well, what what does what does Alaska have? Can someone tell me what does Alaska have that maybe got America's interested in purchasing it? What do they have? Well, the land itself, maybe. Okay, they didn't want Canada, or else they would have bought Canada since it's so close to it. Well, what else do they have that's Gold? really Gold. rich? Gold. Yeah. Gold. Gold and I think that's it. Some maybe minerals, but I don't know what minerals. But uh, I know there's a lot of gold extraction in Alaska. So I don't know. I mean, there's there's a lot of work in Alaska too. A lot of people um, off of the the ocean. I I know in the uh, the Pacific Ocean they. Um, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of work in the, in the the mining fields there. Uh, what else is a place of interest? Maybe in America. Maybe someone wants to know more about America. Why wouldn't you live in the center of America? Look at the map in the center. Why is it not good to live in the center? Or maybe yeah maybe yeah. Why why isn't it good to live there? Near Kansas, Missouri, Oklahoma, Nebraska. Why isn't it a good place to live there? Can someone answer that for me? California? <laughs> huh? Maybe in California. Uh, maybe to live in California just to see uh, Hollywood. <laughs> well, I, I asked why it's not good to live in the center uh, part. Why it's not good. Think about it. What has has anyone watched? Has anyone been watching the news lately about America? And I'm not going to... Okay, okay, did... Uh, how do I say it? Expensive. No, there was tornadoes. Oh. oh tornado. tornado. When did Ukraine get a tornado last? Never. Why? Why doesn't Ukraine get tornadoes? That's good uh, placement of uh, our country. We don't have any cataclysm like tornadoes or... Uh, earthquakes. Uh, maybe we, we have earthquakes, but uh, uh, they are not so strong like uh, some in, in uh, the center of uh, USA. Okay, we we call them like F F five, F four, F six, different yeah. rating. Right. Uh, and has Ukraine ever got like? Um, not a hurricane, uh, but like an earthquake. Uh, yes, we have one earthquake. Uh, uh, on south. So, In the south. Yeah. Oh, does anyone uh, remember uh, the magnitude? Very late. Uh, uh, very, a lot years ago. Many Wait. years ago, we could say. Yeah. Something like in eighties, maybe. Okay, in the 80s. Mm, something like this. Okay, okay. Okay, I mean, it's not like, like in, okay, what's up? So in America, why in California uh, are they a risk of getting earthquakes? Does anyone know why, maybe? It's all the way from California to Vancouver. You're looking on the map. Does anyone know why? Because mountains. Mountains, yes, and because the plates are moving. 
Does everyone know what erosion yeah, means? Right. <laughs> no. But nobody knows how to tell this. Uh, yeah. Erosion. Someone explain erosion. Come on, I have here. It deals with the rain and uh, the soil gets destroyed, something like that. It gets destroyed. It's, it, it gets more... Well, it gets, uh, yeah, it's caused by uh, tectonic plates. Uh, yeah, and it has to do with the uh, plate shifting, but I don't know exactly why or how they shift. I'm not a... I don't know how you call an earthquake specialist. I don't even know how they call them, but uh, I, I don't know exactly how, how, how it shifts, but I know in the, the whole specific part that's where, like, what's going to happen in California is that they predicted within another 10 or 20 years there's going to be a massive earthquake in California. A big one. And it's going to be bigger than in Japan or whatever, you know. Like, a lot of, a lot of those Asian countries get a lot, a lot of earthquakes. What about Florida? Let's go down to Florida. What do we know about... Florida's an interesting place near the Gulf of Mexico. What do we know about Florida? Anton. Someone. What do we know about Florida? Has anyone heard about Florida before? Sure, we have heard, but just... Uh, as for me, I don't know much. I like to listen to somebody. <laughs> what does Florida I don't know? know but... Hurricane was there. Hurricane? Yeah. Hurricane yeah. hurricanes are there. Absolutely. Because it's in the Gulf part, sure. Yep, you're correct. What else? Crocodile alligators. Oh. Alligators. Oh. Florida alligators. Bosha bosha. What's uh <laughs> What's the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? Does anyone know? Very big. Yeah, it's smaller than the <laughs> alligator. Sorry? Alligator smaller. No, no, no. On the bicycle. Bigger. Alligator. Bigger. Yeah, alligators alligator about. Bigger. Uh, alligator is much bigger and much more dangerous than the crocodile. Yeah, much, much, much more dangerous. I mean, those big salt crocodiles are very dangerous. Uh, and as well as uh, Florida has Disneyland. I don't know. Everyone knows Disneyland. Yeah. Not the one, not the one in France, but the one in Florida. Well, the idea is the same, isn't it? Everyone yeah. heard about about it. <laughs> Everyone hears about it, but they never go there. So far. So far, uh, there's a there, the the Disneyland's like in Japan and France. They're not the same. Mickey Mouse, there's only one Mickey Mouse, and he's in he's in Florida. So uh, no, they're Disney World and Disneyland. It's it, they're different. They're different. Uh, people, some people like Florida, the Florida one better because it has Universal Pictures there, right? We, I have someone who actually went there. Uh, what place, if they were going to go to America, where, 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 where were the why? Why do we always want to go to New York? Why do we always want to go to California? Why do we always want to go to Washington when these are very expensive places to go to? Because these are cities. Okay, you have a point, but they're expensive. Who has friends in in America? Anybody? Well, I used to to have a pen friend from from America, but he actually he was from Cuba, and uh, we used to to exchange some messages. Well, but he lives in America. He lives in America, but where in America? I'm, I don't remember. <laughs> Well, f uh, New York is expensive. I mean, maybe because you see it in movies and stuff like that. It's uh, it's ex very expensive city. Very expensive. In, in California, too, it's not cheap. If you think uh, Moscow is expensive, uh, I know Moscow is pretty expensive there, but uh, California, is, I mean, you're, you're dealing in American dollars as well. But what if, if someone was going to America, what other city would they like to visit or maybe they have more information about it? Because everyone wants to go, you know, that work and travel program, you know, they, they want to get some experience. Maybe some cities, maybe some states they've heard of. Anyone. 
and taunt. Home to is it's a fancy school. Where? It's near to New York. What's it called? Uh, a fancy school. Write it. Okay. Pensy. What what is a pensy? It's just a school name? Yeah. And what is so special about this school? Because uh, yesterday I finished uh, one book. Uh, it's the uh, German Salinger. And uh, there is a description about uh, Pensy School. And uh, I make a point that I want to visit this place and uh, <laughs> look how it is. And to see how it is. What about, uh, speaking of schools, Harvard School? How come Harvard has a really good re reputation? We've all heard of Harvard before, haven't we? Yeah. Who said yeah? <laughs> you did? Yes, I did. So why do you think Harvard is, is so prestige? Everyone knows what prestige means? Yeah. What does prestige mean? Explain. Maybe for some people who don't know. Oksana, do you know what prestige means? Prestige? Yes. Something like a good reputation. Like high class. Top. When we talk about high class, we're talking about something that has prestige. Okay. So what's so special about Harvard? How come everyone wants to go to Harvard School? It's located in Boston, Massachusetts. Anyone have an, any idea? Go ahead. One person, please. Well, I was saying that maybe good teachers teach there, so many people want to go to study there to to get a pre prestigious education and prestige education. I like that. That's right. Well, because uh, everything depends maybe on on the quality of education on the quality of knowledge that people get from qualified teachers there. So maybe because of that, and the the, the university is rather old, and so it must have a good reputation. Mm, I agree. I mean, they have a good law. Uh, they're known for their like their law programs, and I and I know someone who um, went into their physics program, and he had a hundred percent average. So he had a scholarship. And that's the only way you get in is if you have a hundred percent at school. Imagine getting a hundred percent. So other Ukrainians, what what kind of or anyone who's from Russia here, what where else do they want to go? What schools do they want to go in the world that that have some sort of clout or prestige? Besides uh, Harvard University, Cambridge. Oksana? Oh, uh, Anton, you said Cambridge University. Yep. Yeah. Cambridge is Cambridge is very popular. Yale as well. Any others? Sorbonne in France. Ooh, I don't know this university. Do you? Do Ukrainians like to, or I mean, do they like to go to this university? Is it popular for them, or is it is it very expensive? Can you tell us a little bit about it? About the Sorbonne? Yeah, I, I, I first time I heard about it. It's in France, uh, just uh, one of the most famous universities in France, and it's like maybe like Harvard, but in France. Well, uh, I'm, I don't know much about the history. Where what, what what exactly do you want to 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 know about about it? I want to know exactly how some universities get a good name. I know we know about teachers and stuff like that. It's good, but, you know, I don't know. You, you, the, you, the more prestige the school has, the more expensive it is to get in, maybe because of competition. What about some schools in, uh, in England? Um, so we said Cambridge with Oxford, too. Right, so, hey, what else is popular for, for Ukrainians? Or do you think a, a, a Ukrainian education is good enough? in, in uh, Ukrainian universities? Well, just the problem is that uh, usually Ukrainian universities, I mean diplomas, Ukrainian diplomas are not um, recognized in Europe or in, in the world. Uh, that is why people want to go abroad to, to get uh, European uh, diplomas to have a possibility to get a good job afterwards. 
Okay, okay, but but is it really worth it? You you really think if you go to another country to get an education in a different country for the people in Ukraine and Russia here, do you really think it's worth it to 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 go that extra mile? I mean, it's a lot of money to to spend, unless you have a scholarship. How many Ukraine? How many people here have had a scholarship? You have to study very well to get a scholarship. Exactly. And unless you have rich parents, if you if you don't have rich parents. You're not going to a rich university in America. That's for sure. It's about money. And Yvonne, Yvonne, are you there? Because you, uh, Yvonne went to a school in Germany. Maybe you can yeah, tell us. Yeah, everywhere. Yvonne, maybe you could tell us why you chose Germany. Uh, I chose Germany because uh, there were interesting subjects in the university. And actually, it's not far from Ukraine, like two hours of flight, and I'm in Kiev. In Kiev. No, did you? Really choose it based on the subjects, or because you just wanted to go to Germany, maybe? Yeah, they have the the Goethe University is pretty famous in Europe. Uh, that's why I choose uh, this one, and uh, uh, the um, subjects are really good, very really good. Okay. Okay. It was not only about uh, uh, about the G Germany. I had a choice to go to England, I had a choice to go to Spain or somewhere else to France, but I just chose Germany because I like the subject, it was law and finance. So. And Anton, are you there? What, what university, if you had a, I don't know how old you are, but are you, are you, are you, I don't think you're in university, are you? I went to university, I went to local university. I, I don't want any more. I don't want to go any uh, back anymore. Yeah, yeah. We can say what that. is your specialty? Uh, I can't understand. What is your specialty? Specialization. Professional. Automation engineering. So if you had to redo it again, would you go to another country if you had the opportunity, or would you stay in your in 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 your country now? Uh, can you repeat, please? If if you had the opportunity, would you go to another country, or would you stay in your current country? Uh, I'd go to another country, of course. Okay, so uh, what I'm getting is like a lot of Ukrainian Russian people, they would like to go to another country for education. That's what I, uh, that's what I'm kind of hearing. But uh, education in Russia and Ukraine is free, right? So why move when it's free unless it's a specialty? Depends. It is not. It's not always free. Sometimes you have to pay for your studies. Free not means uh, quantity. <laughs> quantity. But it's cheaper than what we have in Canada. That's for cheaper. sure. It's well, cheaper. Anyway, studying abroad is not only to get some knowledge at the university, it's also to get some experience, international experience, and to master maybe uh, improve your language skills. It's also a very good opportunity to practice your language and acquire good knowledge, and to just to make friends with people from abroad. Why not? And there are different international programs when students from different countries go to other countries just to just to, to change, uh, to, to exchange experience, cultural, uh, language, uh, and others. But you have to pay more when you go to another country. Yeah, that's true, but you have to sacrifice something. You have always to sacrifice something. That's, that's, that's life. So that's it, it, life. It, it is all about money then. It's just about money. Money, money, money. I think that's what it's about. Irene, Irene, are you there? Yes. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Tell us about yourself. This is the first time you've been here, correct? Yes. Uh, where are you from? How old are you? Etc. Etc. Um, I'm ten now. How uh, old? I'm ten years old. Ten. Decent. Oh. <laughs> Oh boy, yeah. I, I, you're the youngest person who's been in the class. Congratulations. Thank you. And uh, what what brings you 
What brings you to my class? Tell me a little bit about yourself. I uh, wanted uh, to learn English uh, because I want to be a translator. Um, and I think uh, that is a more useful uh, language. Uh, so <laughs> I, I thought we that... We hope. We hope. So uh, where are you from, though? I'm uh, from Taganrog. Um, where? Where again? From Taganrog. Taganrog. In Russia. Mm -hmm. Taganrog. Yes, from uh, Russia. Okay, because like it, Russia's a big country, so I I don't know where all these places are. Sorry, I'm I'm very new. Oh. Okay. So, how did you learn it? Your English sounds pretty good. How did you learn English? Who ta oh, who taught I, you? I have a teacher. Um. Uh, two teachers. <laughs> Aha, two teachers. Okay, yes. I see. And uh, are, are they from America or from Russia or so, some other country or? Okay. You don't know. Right. Only from Russia. Oh, they're from Russia. Okay, so we're talking about world map things to do on the world map, universities and world map. Uh, when you go to university one day, Dana, do you want to stay? In your current country, or, or are you always thinking about going to school in another country? Because some people here, they tell us they they like to, to travel somewhere else. What well, what is your opinion? Maybe you can tell us. I know you're young, but maybe maybe uh, you have an opinion. Yes, I have an opinion. Uh, my opinion is uh, to uh, to go to the outside. Uh, so uh, because I think uh, that. Um, in outside, I uh, will get more um, experience. Yes, uh, more experience. You, you should come to Canada. They should, they have you get lots of experience there. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's let's move away from America. All right. So we talked about Amer uh, Mexico. What is Mexico known for? <laughs> no, bad question. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll move away Mexico from... Mexico City or Mexico as country? Um, Mexico you... City is in Mexico. Well, no, is it, no, where am I looking at? Mexico, yeah, Mexico City would be in obviously in Mexico. But I, I was going to say the cartels, but, you know, it's kind of dangerous to go there. Uh, I'm not going to include Mexico. Let's, let's get out of there. Uh, Ukrainians never go to, like, uh, or Russian people, they never go to the Caribbean Sea, Cuba, Dominican Republic... Guatemala, no, that's where the terrorists are. Sorry, uh, Costa Rica. Any anyone have any friends that go there? No, yeah. ever? No. <laughs> Not Mexico. Mexico From countries you have just mentioned. Yeah, Mexico, but hmm, uh, like a lot of people don't want to go to Mexico these days because they're they're kind of scared of some issues, right? So people now in North America they go to Cuba, uh, and they're they're going to other, like Cuba, Dominican Republic. But, you know, the problem there is, like, I guess for people in North America, it would be cheap. But from Ukraine and Russia, it would be more expensive. So that's why uh, I guess it's popular to go to, like, Turkey and, and Egypt as well. Uh, what about, okay, let's go to, let's move to Europe. Let's move over to Europe. Now, all right, so for the Russian students in here, where can you go without a visa? Or do you, do you, or do you, I, I don't know, I don't know. Do you need a visa to go anywhere, or what countries do you need to go to, to get a visa? I mean, to, to, to travel to, basically. Maybe Turkey. Turkey. Can you go to Turkey without a visa? In Ukraine, we, we can. No, in Turkey, we can pay several dollars uh, for visa. So you need a visa? Yes, of course. In Thailand, we don't need it. So where do Russian people, I'm asking this uh, because I don't know, where do they like to go now? What, what's really popular for, for Russian people nowadays? To go? Crimea is very popular nowadays. <laughs> 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 Russian people can, uh, can travel without visa only on the country of what about Georgia? Georgia? Do you need a visa for Georgia? Oh, I don't know. Some Georgia. 
George is a beautiful country. They they really re redid everything. A lot of, they got a lot of tourism there. So that's a country I'd actually like to check out. Besides, you know, like Greece and stuff like that. Uh, what any other popular destinations? Why Thailand? What, someone tell me about Thailand. Who said that? Anton, you said Thailand. Why Thailand? Yes. Because it's cheaper and uh, it uh, it's uh, near nearest to us. It's near. Well, hold on. I'm looking on the map here. Russia is a big country. So one second, please. Russia is a country. How I think. Sorry, I didn't hear that. I I think that uh, Russia is the biggest country. It it is the the biggest country. If you look at Russia, I I thought Canada was big. It's packed. But Russia is huge. <laughs> how, many, how many time zones are in Russia? Uh, eight. Eight. Oh boy, that's uh, I I don't know. That that's too many for me. That's too many. In one place today, in another place in Russia, already yesterday. <laughs> and you. It, you know, it, it, it's hard to believe that because, uh, you know, you don't look at the map and you don't look at countries and study them. And even uh, during the USSR, how, how, well, I guess you could call it the, the whole motherland or whatever you want to call it, how big it really was. And, like, that's, in, that's incredibly, incredibly big. But I would say, you know, Russia, it's like Irina said, it's the biggest country in the world still. So it, it never lost any land and, and, and stuff like I well, It never lost... Currently, any any geographic location per se. Uh, do, 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 I'm looking here. What about Africa? Why don't people like to go to uh, does, Who knows a little bit about Africa? How come people don't go to like I don't know uh, Nigeria? Why don't they go to the Congo, Somalia? How come this is not popular? Sorry. I want to go to Ethiopia. Ethiopia. I, I, you uh, want to go? My gra grandfather. Uh, he was uh, on vac vacations and uh, said that uh, there was very interesting places. He was very impressed by hospitality of uh, uh, native guys, and uh, uh, he wanted that I uh, child this place in uh, my future. And uh, I accepted this. Uh, for me, very interesting. It, but isn't it a little bit dangerous, you think, to go to Ethiopia? What do you think? Um, hard to say. You're a Cossack. you got to bring your sword yeah. with you. <laughs> it's um, not so very dangerous as for me. Because uh, I train a lot and uh, I know how to survive in several places. Also in dry places. D did you watch the movie Indiana Jones? Um, yes, maybe two years ago. Well, you, that's what you need, like Indiana Jones. You need that big whip well, with you. Maybe. <laughs> uh, and it's kind of, it's not too far from, I can see here, the Red Sea as well. Because I see some Ukrainians, like, they, they talk about going to the Black Sea, of course, right? And, and to, I don't know much about the Red Sea. And I'm, I'm looking at... Here. Has, has anyone been in, in near the, the Red Sea at, as, as well? Has anyone ever been been there? I guess if they're going to um, maybe Israel or something like that. I don't, I don't know how popular this is. Uh, so I'm just looking here. Ethiopia. Uh, anyone else been in Africa? I just want to cover a little bit of Africa. Anyone else been or have any friends? Morocco is a very interesting country in Africa. Morocco. Yeah. Morocco. Mm -hmm. Morocco. Very beautiful country, uh, in my opinion, and uh, very interesting culture. I I I don't know. I don't know much about Morocco to tell you. It's it's hard to study the whole world. I mean, I've studied countries here and there, but Morocco wasn't one of them. Uh, but if you if you had a chance to leave the country, looking at Europe, where would you like to go and why? I mean, if you look at the Italy, we we call it the boot. 
Right? Obviously because it's shaped as the boot. But where would people like to go? Anton, if you, if you want to leave the country, what, what kind of country would you like to go to on the map? Anton. New Zealand, maybe. Where? Maybe New Zealand. New why, Zealand. Why New Zealand? Uh, Lord of the Rings uh, can, um, was... Uh, um, Lord of the Rings, huh? Yeah, I, I, I don't know how, how it, <laughs> in English. And the when Hobbit. Film, 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 film and, and Hobbit. Shire. Yeah. What was that? Shire, the land Sh of Hobbits. I'm not the Shire land of Hobbits. Mm -hmm. uh, and Irina, if you had a choice to leave your country now in Russia, where would you like to go to on the European map? Oh, um, on the European map, I would like to go to Spain. And why Spain? Uh, I thought that it is, uh, it is a, a beautiful country, and um, I like the mandarins uh, there. Okay, all right, fair enough. The mandarins, you said, right? Yes. Okay, all right, all right, just, just checking. I see some... I noticed some Russian people, they like to go to Croatia. Is this because they like the beaches there? Why? Why is this? Anyone can tell me? No comment? Mm. Croatia. Croatia. Maybe because you don't need a visa there. Do you need a, do you, do you need a, a visa for... In North Croatia, we don't need a visa. Uh, in South Croatia, we need a visa. Okay, in in South in South Croatia, you need a visa. Okay, I didn't the, I didn't know about yes. this. Well. Um, any other country? I mean, England. The, the problem that I would have with England is that I think there's, to me, it looks like an island, like an island. When you know, that's why they call it the the UK, right? It's England, it's Scotland, it's Ireland, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. For me, there's too many people on there, you know, and I, I think it's going to be full. I think there's like 70 million people in England living there. Has anyone been to England before? No. Oh, okay. Anyone else? has? No one else has been to England? No? Nobody else? No? No? Nobody else? Mike, what about, what about you? What country do you want to live? Ex Ukraine. <laughs> Ukraine. No, no, no. <laughs> Besides Ukraine or Canada. And in Europe. You like? In Europe. In, in the world, you know what? Either either Russia or Ukraine would be either of them. I like Russia because it's big and you can go anywhere. I just don't want to go to Moscow. But I would. I, I like to. I love to live in Saint Petersburg. I like to live somewhere in Eastern European, except in Romania because there's too many dogs there. Where are many dogs? Sorry? Uh, repeat this about um, many dogs. There's too many dogs in Romania. Oh. <laughs> I don't think there's as many dogs in Romania as there is like, in Russia. I don't think you have that kind of dog problem. Um, just looking through here. Sorry, Ivan, I, I... Do you speak uh, Russian now or only English? Ivan, I, I hear you there. One second, guys. I'll yeah. mute his microphone. All right, there. Uh, some other entry. What do we think about, like, Latvia, Luthania, for the, for the Russian people in the class? What do we... Has anyone ever been there before? What do we think of those countries? Estonia, these are all countries part of the past USSR, correct? Yes, but uh, these these countries, uh, uh, Latvia, Estonia, doesn't like <laughs> don't like uh, Russian people. <laughs> but I, I, from what I understand, there, there's a lot of Russian people in Latvia, in uh, in Estonia. Is that correct, or that's not true? Yes, in uh, in Latvia and Estonia, a lot of Russian people. But uh, Latvian peoples, for example. Uh, don't like Russian. Okay, okay. But, uh, okay, they don't like Russian like that. But do you think, like, uh, is there any changes from 
you know, like these these countries that are part of the European Union now, do you really think that there's any big change, or do you think they should be part of Russia still? I, I don't know. I, I, I never lived in, in Latvia or uh, Litva or Estonia. Okay, okay. I'm, because like, I can't sorry? Say, I can't say it in anything. Okay, all right. And what about in Finland? Who do you know? I mean, I I guess there's a lot of people that go back and forth from Russia and Finland. Is this true, from what I hear? Very good social uh, country. <laughs> A very social country, you said. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Ex tell us. Mm -hmm. Explain. I mean, in Finland, uh, Switzerland, or uh, these countries uh, have uh, have a lot of opportunity uh, for people. I mean, uh, uh, better uh, better life. Uh, then it's not. too cold. It's too cold, though. Come on. Yes, I mean, yes it's too cold. But do they like uh, vodka, <laughs> like Russians? Uh, no, I mean the, the problem. The problem with Sweden, Finland, Norway, it gets really, really cold. I, we, I don't we, know. We get used to cold. <laughs> it, it, in Canada, not... in Canada. If you get used to the cold, why do you go in the south in the summertime? Why do you go to places like Turkey then? Why? It's warmer there, obviously. Just some vacation. <laughs> ah, I don't believe that. I don't know. Okay, but if you if you say that, but I think like the problem with if you look at all these northern countries in the EU, they're they're too cold. If it, if it was me, I I love to live in something like I like to live Australia. in Greece. Sorry. Uh, was it Australia? Oh, Australia. That changes a lot too. That's some crazy whole, whole year, whole year, for the whole year, summer, summer, whole year. For the whole year. So looking at the map, I mean, we, I don't know, I, I don't know if it's the same. Maybe someone can correct me. We have the northern and southern hemisphere. Is it the same in Ukrainian and Russian when we say that northern and southern hemisphere? Does it, does anyone know what I mean when I talk about the northern and southern hemisphere? No. Well, oh, no, it's not here. Can you explain? What it, do you it, well, can you, the, can you write it? Yeah, hold on. Hemisphere is like a, the, the division between the north and south. Like, is equator, is that name, is it the same in, in Ukrainian and Russian as in English? Everyone knows what the equator is? North. No? North equator is. <laughs> Hemisphere, <laughs> north, but, north hemisphere. Well, the the equator's in the middle. All right. Last time I looked, usually that's the uh, the the warmest part as well. So just uh, maybe because people didn't know about the northern and southern hemispheres, I wanted to maybe to improve your vocabulary as well. And of course, you know, everyone knows the North Pacific oceans as well and we have different gulfs but why do you think I mean when we have uh, a gulf like for instance going back to uh, the Gulf of Mexico why do you think they call it a gulf does anyone know, have any idea why don't they call the Caribbean Sea a gulf why do they call the Gulf of Mexico a gulf nobody knows no so when I say gulf I spell it like this Because like a golf ball, right? It it is enclosed by other cities or other countries. That's why they call it a gulf because it's it's enclosed. As you can see, if you look at the Gulf of Mexico, near Mexico, uh, there's there's a lot of border around here, and it covers a lot of area. All right, near and Havana. Sorry? Russia also have the Gulf. <laughs> uh, all all north and territory. Yeah, I mean, you, ha you have to have a body enclosed in something to have it uh, to call it a, a Gulf, though. 
but I see, I don't know, I mean, in Russia, I, I, I don't know, maybe someone can help me out what the, the Kara Sea is. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing this is all ice area. I'm pretty yeah. sure. And, yeah, yeah I, 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 to be honest with you, I don't, don't really know. But, you know, going to Canada, there, there's a dispute. Because if you see all these, not glaciers, but all these tiny pieces of land in Canada, in the north section there, uh, up from Nunavut, that is actually, they say it's part of Canada, but other countries are saying, no, no, no. Canada does not own this, this land. It could, it, anyone can own this land. I say it's part of Canada, you know, because it's so close. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? No comment? Do you know what I mean? If you go to the north part of Canada, you'll see small little islands, right? And some countries are saying that it's not part of Canada because it's like it's its own island. It's separated by water. But Canada is saying, no, it's our country because we found some submarines, some ships that were floating around there and they were looking for some stuff, and Canada was like, what are you doing here? You know, why do you need to be here? So maybe, I don't know, for spying purposes or what, but I don't know, I think that when you have like an island close to a country, uh, you know, it, it should be part of that, the bigger country as well. You're talking about uh, Northwestern Passage? The Northwestern, correct. Well, no, I don't think anyone live, looks there. I mean, who the heck would go to the Atlant uh, Who the heck would want to go to the North Pole, anyways? Who? Who would go there? People who like extreme or uh, extreme cold temperatures. It would be very difficult to live there. And what about the South Pole? You're gonna find penguins there. Penguins don't live with polar bears, unless you watch the Coca-Cola commercial. I mean, who the heck would go to these uh, these regions anyways? Does anyone know anyone who's been to the North Pole or to the South Pole? Nobody knows? Have you been there? No, but I know Canadians who have been, and they, they worked uh, for National Geographic. Um, that must be a very good opportunity to take some nice photos. If your camera doesn't freeze. <laughs> well, there are some special equipment that can protect the camera, I guess. This is minus 100. I don't think Russia even has minus 100 in some areas. Who knows? <laughs> you haven't been there. How do you know? <laughs> uh, I heard in Siberia the coldest it gets is minus 60. Okay. And Ton, maybe you can confirm this for us. Yes, it, uh, it is. <laughs> minus 60. Minus uh, minus sixty, minus seventeen sometimes. How can you live in this weather, though? How? Oh, in in my part, uh, I I lived uh, in south part of Siberia. I, I okay, but still, it's whole no, it's cold. How do pe how do people live in there? Is it like different uh, humidity levels, different dryness? What is it? Um, they don't live there. Uh, oh, they don't they live wor there. Work, work there, but don't live. Uh, so you mean like they go to the south part? One second. So they go, you're saying they don't live there, so usually where, they, where do they go after? I mean, when is working season anyways for these people? Yeah, it's, it's season work. Like what? What time of the year? Like from what month? From March, March to November. And where do they go after? I mean, where are they from? Are they explain? Like where do they? Where do they go afterwards? Back home? And uh, and three months. Uh, leave home because I, I don't know I don't know nothing nothing about Siberia that's why I sound kind of stupid but I don't know nothing about the area that's why I ask 
But uh, it's it's interesting. It's interesting. So what what do you guys hunt there? You hunt bear, moose. What do you what do you got there? What kind of animals? All animals. Yeah. Lots of mishka. Bears. Uh, uh, snow leopard. Snow leopards. Oh bonjour. Yeah. We have none of this in Ukraine. I looked for a mishka in Ukraine. I couldn't find one. Come here, mishka. Come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> it's hard. Only in the Carpathian Mountains, maybe, you'll find a Mishka. I don't know. Am I right? In the Carpathian Mountains, you'll find a, a bear? In Ukraine? Medvedev is to us. Actually, uh, shame on me, but I have visited very few Ukrainian cities. Just it's like this. I'm, I hope I will visit some more. But I hope that there are still some bears in in mountain. I hope so too. If people didn't kill them all, because <laughs> in, in the Zhitomba region, I look for an, there's no animals there. It's dead. There's nothing. It's scary. It's like no. it's 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 there are just small, small animals, small bears, but maybe in some mountains, some far, far, far in the deep, deep in the forest, there are so you can find some animals still. I do hope, but I have to check it up. <laughs> I hope well. Well, to wrap this up, I mean, uh, actually, one place to go to in Pacific Northwest in America are the Rocky Mountains. You know, if you walk big mountains there in, in Vancouver, and I talked to some people, and it's a beautiful place to go to. You need a car, of course, but you will find bears, leopards, um, cougars. I guess leopard. No, yeah, you know, snow leopard. No, not snow leopard. Uh, just cougars and stuff like that. So. And you can't shoot them either. You need to have a gun registration. So I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't trust a big Mishka uh, to, you know, come behind me or, you know, to to defend myself because I think the Mishka would be stronger than me. So I would want a gun with me to shoot the thing because if it, if it's hungry, it's not eating me. That's for sure. What, so in, in Russia, can you have a gun to shoot animals if they attack you, or you're not allowed to? Yes, we have, but uh, we, we also need registration, and uh, we have limits on, on shooting animals. Mm -hmm. well, limits uh, by, peri uh, by um, uh, period of the year, or uh, limits by... by uh, and uh, and period uh, period and uh, uh, hunting quantity. period hunting period too eh yeah I'm thinking yeah ha hunting period and uh, quantity of um, animals animals yes. that all right okay all that right. You can... well I I'm just saying you know I, I I want some protection I don't think pepper spray would uh, would work you know with a big bear or a cougar I I don't think it would work. So be protected. But, you know, just some, some beautiful places. Anyways, uh, we're over time. Uh, I kind of wish we knew more kind of places we would like to talk about, but that's probably because we haven't been to many places. You know, like, uh, hey, I'm from Canada, and I haven't been many places myself uh, just because uh, I don't have that much time. But, uh, hey, it's nice to travel when you can, but, you know, Traveling isn't everything. I think, you know, when you see one thing, you've seen everything. So everything starts to look the same again and again. So that's why, you know, I'm not, a, not, too, not too big on traveling, even though I don't need a visa, you know. So that's why people ask me, why don't you go anywhere? You don't need a visa. I'm like, why should I go, you know? I like Ukraine. It's a good country. Um, Anyways, yeah, yeah, Irina, sure. What do you uh, want to say? Michel, um, uh, but... Um, I want to, to ask you yep. uh, if you um, if you want to travel uh, all over the world, um, what's the first ta um, place uh, which you meet? Wh which I would go to? What yeah. You mean? I, I really, I, I, to be honest with you, I, I don't know. There's a lot of places, but the problem is, Irina, a lot of places are expensive too. You know, like you can go to places like Italy, France, and they're very expensive. So, you know, I'd want something that's cheap to go to. But uh, to be honest with you, I haven't even been everywhere in Canada. So Canada is a place where I would explore, but to go by car, 
it would take two days just to go there, right? And uh, it's 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 crazy. But there's a lot of places in Canada. There's Newfoundland. There's Labrador, right, which is in the east part of Canada. There's Vancouver, Whistler, BC. There's skiing to go to. There's a lot of places. So I know one student here wants to go to Canada in Alberta. So uh, hey, I mean, uh, have fun. But uh, I don't know. Maybe Australia too. Australia is very similar to Canada. So if that answers your question. And in my opinion, I um, want to. Re I uh, really like to uh, go to Dubai. Dubai. Yes. It's kind of hot there, isn't it? Yes. Uh, it's very hot. <laughs> Zarko, Teplo. Uh, no? Yes. Uh, who is this? Sabit? Tamara. Uh, hello, I'm Tamara. Tamara, yes. Yeah, sorry, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm very bad. I'm very bad at pronouncing names, yes. <laughs> uh, a, a thousand apologies, please. Uh, so Tamara, actually, our my class has ended, and I have no idea if there's a there's another class. But I was just uh, oh, it's ended. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I I sorry, I, I kind of went over time. I wasn't checking, but uh, I'll have another class next week, or you know, there's other there's other teachers as well, both native and, and non-native. So please oh, please check yeah. them out. Yeah, I, I just sorry sorry about that. That's, uh, no, that's all right. Sorry. I. I uh, uh, mm -hmm. Tell me, wh wh if I see you again, where are you from? I'm from Russia. We're Asetia. from. We're from in Russia. Uh, Asetia. It's uh, near Chechnya, but it's not Chechnya. <laughs> so it, it's it's like uh, maybe Volgograd area, or no? It's not near no, there. No, it's no, no. near uh, uh, um, uh, Beslan. Uh, do you know this one? It's, uh, I, I I know no. It's a big country. I'm sorry. I I, I don't okay. remember. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just uh, I'm just trying to remember. I'm from I'm in Kiev now. I'm trying to remember the Ukrainian cities, right? I oh. know Chernobyl, Lviv, Sevastopol. Okay, that's that's in Crimea. I know just the major cities. So I'm trying to learn too. All right. <laughs> But, but everyone, all right, Tamara. So, so Tamara, just try to check out my my next lessons. They'll happen soon, next week or maybe maybe okay. Tuesday. I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, for everyone else, uh, it's 10:09. I I got a jet too. So, uh, everyone, uh, thank you for coming. Please check the schedule again. Look at my schedule. Look at someone else's schedule. There's a lot of topics, a lot of things to talk uh, to talk about. So, everyone, have a good evening. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. This for Daniel. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.